Hey everybody, this is Jesse. Welcome to OldPocketKnives.com. Okay, so here we go. We have three patterns uh, of case knives that I wanted to share today. Uh, this comes from a collection that I purchased and the uh, previous owner um, had put petroleum jelly uh, kind of all over the knives, the handles, the blades, and uh, they uh, could use some uh, cleaning up. So I wanted to kind of share the before um, video with you guys. Uh, first, I wanted to just show you kind of the patterns themselves. This is a real nice um, copper head, as it's called, with this little bump here. Uh, nice jig bone. You can see these were, I don't think, ever in anyone's pocket. No real wear to be seen. Um, the blades are nice and full. You can see that this one has 10 dots, which uh, indicates that it was made in 1970. So, nice old knife, but you can see it's got this gunk all over the blade. You can see the pattern number. The copperhead uh, pattern was the 6249. And um, the pen blade is the same. Kind of gunky. So people thought that this would kind of preserve the blades. Um, but I've seen mixed results with, with that. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of staining. So that's the first one. The other one is a nice trapper. Um, also from the same era, this one might be a little bit earlier actually. Yeah, this one does not have any dots, so this stamp would date from 1965 to 1969. And uh, open the other blade here. Okay, yep. Again, hard to tell what the blades are doing, but there are, uh, they are unsharpened as well and uh, in, in real nice shape. You can see the pattern number on that trapper is 5254. The 5 indicates that it's stag. 6, I believe, indicates that it is the bone handles. And then finally, we have um, a nice canoe with stag handles as well. Nice stag on the back, but again, you can see it needs some cleaning, that's for sure. Open this up, show you the blades are full, covered in Vaseline. And once again, no dots on that blade, hard to tell, but yeah, at this point you'd be able to see dots. There are no dots, so this dates this knife, look at all the Vaseline on that thing, uh, from uh, 1965 to 69 as well. So overall, I think they're gonna turn out nice, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you first, give you a little preview of what they started with, and uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so next I was going to clean these guys up. I'm in the shop here, and uh, I just wanted to take a moment to let you know what I was going to use. Uh, the plan was to use paper towel to uh, kind of take off the Vaseline. Um, I use an old cotton t-shirt that works well, and uh, to kind of polish things up a little bit, uh, I use these sunshine cloths, so they work well. couple of things I forgot to mention that I used. Uh, I used uh, Q-tips and I also used uh, toothpicks to get the inside of the knife to get all that Vaseline and stuff off. Once I wiped it down with a, uh, a t-shirt, uh, I then used a uh, goof off to just get any of the remaining residue off. And um, from there, I just kind of oiled the joints and the handles and blades and uh, wiped it off. And here we are. So next I'll show you the final product. Okay, so here are the finished products. Uh, I just wanted to show you how they all turned out. And you can see that nice mirror polish finish there. You can see the clouds in the sky through those blades. And uh, we have uh, 10 dots on there. You can see those, 1970. This copperhead was made. 
and uh, overall looks pretty nice. Just gonna show you the back. Handle looks good. Overall, I'd say this one's probably the one in the best shape out of the bunch, but overall turned out nice. This is the Trapper. You can see the Trapper has a little bit of tarnish on that spay blade, but nice stag handles on that. And uh, this one uh, has a little bit of kind of spots on those carbon blades, but that happens sometimes when it's not stored 100% properly, but sometimes you can't stop that. Overall looks nice. I put a little bit, I used one of those uh, polishing cloths on the, uh, the case emblem there and uh, looks a lot better. Not perfect, but better. And got the other side here. All right, so that was the trapper. And then finally, uh, this is the canoe. And the canoe turned out pretty nice. There's again, the mirror polished blades, nice stag handles on that, uh, bolsters, turned out pretty nice I used the polishing cloth on those as well and check out the back again has some spotting a little bit of blade rubs but overall pretty nice knife again all the blades are unsharpened so good stuff check out the stag on that all right so I realized that this was not the biggest um, project but again just wanted to show these and uh, I think they turned out pretty nicely, so I hope you liked it. Okay guys, well thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Like the video if you liked it, and let me know in the comments uh, which one was your favorite knife. Uh, until next time, have a great one, and uh, happy collecting.